In this video, we are going to create API management service in Azure with the help of Azure portal. If you go to the Azure portal, click on create resource, search for APIM or API management, you'll get the result. Click on OK and then you can click create. Once you click create, you can create a new resource group or you can create to an existing resource group then choose a location where you want to host your API management service then provide the name of your API management you need to make sure that the name which you are choosing is globally unique across the region as you can see that name is already been used so I'm going to choose a different one for this demonstration this is available next you need to provide the name of your organization for which you are building the API so I'll call a PR learner as an organization then put the email address of the administrator for your API management you can change these details like administrator detail specifically later on as well once this detail is provided you can go and choose the pricing tier so by default is the pricing tier is development on the developers pricing tier you do not get the SLA as you can see the details here but if you can go ahead and choose the other SLAs as well like basic standard premium or on a consumption basis earlier it used to be only developer basic standard and premium now but we have the consumption basis as well and on the different pricing tier obviously you get a different different service offerings but if you look at from the approach where you are in the development phase then my recommendation is to choose the lower pricing tier which is a developer because in the development and pre premium configuration the only difference you get is uh, you do not get the SLA whereas in here you get the SLA but the ter in terms of the features the both development and premium offers the same services whereas the standard and basic offer some of the less services that's how, what the difference is so my recommendation is to use the development meanwhile you are in the development phase next you can configure the API appli application insight for the monitoring and logging purpose if you wish to I'm going to leave it as is on the development year you cannot scale up the services so scaling is not something which you can offer but if you choose any other services obviously you can offer the, choose the scaling configuration from here if you wish to enable the manage identity you can specify here and then you can choose the API management networking configuration so if you want to make your API management secure not to pro, uh, expose over the internet then you can make it internal or you can make it external basically external means it will the API endpoint would be exposed to the internet but the rest of the API's configuration will remain uh, accessible from the virtual network only so by default it remains open it means all your configuration and API endpoint will be exposed to the internet as well you can specify the different protocols for your API management configuration it is nothing to do with your specific API it's just more of the API management configuration itself last you can provide the different tagging scenarios for this particular resource which could be helpful for the billing purpose of your organization and then you can click on create it takes at least 30 to 40 minutes to complete the API management setup the reason for this to take this long is it takes it creates variety of services behind the scene such as it creates the database storage account load balancer application gateway and things like that and that's how it brings the entire platform for you as an API management as it is going to take so much of time I have created the API management in advance for this particular demonstration which was completed an hour ago as you can see 
So I'll go back to the portal where I've created my API management for this demonstration. This was one of my API management, which I've created for this particular demonstration. As you can see that this is the detail about the API management. This is the location wherein I ho am hosting this particular API. And currently the API management is online as per this particular status, which looks good. And this is the developer portal URL, gateway URL, and the service tier, which I have used to configure this particular API management. And this is the public IP address on which this developer portal is going to be hosted and available. Now, we will discuss all these different configuration in detail. But first of all, let's go to the portal overview of the API management. Here in the portal of the API management, you get the activity log, which has the details about the activities performed on the API management itself. So you can get the details. You can have the access control configured from this particular section using the access control, access control management. You can monitor or change the tags if you wish to. To get the details about your API management, for example, the resource ID and other stuff, you can take it from the property section. In the API section, you get the option to check your API which is being hosted inside the API management. We'll host the API management, the, we'll host the APIs into the API management from this particular section later in the video. This is the product section. So in the API management, you can have a multiple products defined and in, within each product, you can configure one or more APIs. Then. This is the subscription which has been created for you can define and distribute subscription for your various consumers. For example, if you have different partners, partners, consumers or providers for which you want to host the APIs, you can provide the different subscription to the different providers and the partners. This is a name value pairs or basically you can store a key value pair which you can use or your API can use to perform their operation. Next section, you have the developer portal. This particular section is dedicated to the developer portal. Similarly, you have a option to configure or your API monitoring. And then you have the section for the development and the infrastructure. Basically, it is about the automation of your API management. Next section we have is for securing your API management. And at last you have the automation of your API management wherein you can export the entire template which we have deployed through the portal. The same template can be exported in form of REST API or the ARM template basically. This was about the quick demonstration about the API management. Next we are going to look at each of these scenarios in detail. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.